Hello, everyone. I'm very excited about this class called Get It Before You Get It. So if you are tuning in now and you've been uh, through section one, two, and three, you should, number one, have a pretty good understanding or pretty good concept of who you are and what is it that you really want to do. We talked about that, right? Uh, and then step two was capturing it, capture it in the spirit, you know, spend that time meditating, that time in prayer, whatever it takes just to get it in your hands so that you know what, what is it that, I'm, that, that that's mine? What, what is it that belongs to me? Because once it belongs to you, no devil in hell can take it away, right? And then the third part that we just went through was you um, taking some time to write a finally statement. The finally statement is you sitting on the other side of the mountain, almost like a point of um, reflection. And, and, and you're sitting there being the new person that you are, like you, you've overcome the things that you're working on. Um, uh, or I didn't say that right. You, you, you now are on the other side of that mountain because you're living out the things that you have dreamed, right? And so you're going to write that finally statement and that should be done now, or at least just about done, right? And then I pray that you guys took my advice. And after you wrote your finally statement, then you wrote your self-affirmation, you wrote, which is, you can call it whatever you want, but basically an extended version of that statement, really getting into the, 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 the meat of what does that look like? You know, uh, how, how, how is this going to impact my family? How is this going to impact my community? How does it impact my finances? How do I feel? Who am I? Do I deal with elephants in the room? That, that's when you're writing out that extended version of this is who I now am. Does that make sense? So hopefully you've taken some time to do this. Now, I ask that you not only write it out, but that you uh, record it you know, just to have an audio version of it. Um, and if you really want to be bold, you can video record it. What I personally did is I wrote it out and then I recorded it on my phone. So I have it on my phone. So now this fourth part that we're talking about, and I'll explain why I'm bringing this up. This whole part is about becoming the goal. This is you, 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 you being what it is that you're striving to become. So I, I just call it become the goal. Now I did a podcast on this, but I want to go a little bit diff, uh, deeper with becoming the goal because I didn't get into the specifics of how, and that's what this class is about. For me, becoming the goal is every single day in the morning, you want to know what I do when I get up. Of course, you know, you pray and all of that. I literally press play on my phone. I have it saved in my notes section on my phone. I have uh, finally statements you know, my short version. And then I have my, um, I forget what I call it. I think the second one, I just call it extended version. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it your self affirmation, but I have the short version and the extended version right there on my phone. I kid you not. I recorded it and then I saved it in my notes section and I signed it to myself. Um, I think I emailed it to myself. I have it everywhere. And you may say, well, why? I need to be constantly reminded of where I'm heading because I know who I am. I've captured it in the spirit. God has shown me this is possible, right? Remember we talked about Abe about against all odds. So I know that it's possible, right? Now I've committed it to writing. I've committed it, not to mention to God, you know, I've committed it. And now I need daily reminders. And this is where we kind of mess up is we have to literally change our thinking Remember, we talked about that. Commit your thoughts um, to God. Make it obedient to Christ. We have to change literally our thinking and our, our whole, I guess you can even call it a paradigm, but the way that we believe uh, what we believe about ourselves. If you don't change who you believe about yourself and you don't really believe that those things can happen, then all you're doing is just setting some sort of goal like a New Year's resolution and good luck with that. You may do it for two weeks and that's it. There has to be a complete shift in your mindset. And for me, it's repetition. So when I get up in the morning, I literally press play. When I'm driving to work, I'll press play. I'll hear the extended version. When I'm exercising at night, which that's a whole nother subject because I just started trying to work out a little bit. That's another subject, different, you know, class or podcast or something. But anyway, I literally press play and I'm constantly reminding myself of my finally statements. And I'm constantly reminding myself of my self affirmation of who I am. And you want to know how that helps before I do anything, even when I walk into my office, I am walking in as that person that I'm becoming. In fact, I, sh I, I probably should say I'm walking in as her. I'm walking in my house, my workspace, the way I organize my schedule, everything that I do, 
I am that person that I've committed to being because I know who I am. God has shown me it's possible. I've committed to it and now I need to be it. So step four is all about be it. I guess I should say becoming <laughs> whatever word you want to put down, be it or becoming That's step four is, is we need to be it. We need to be, we need to become the, the living example of the goal that we're setting. That's why I didn't name it set a goal. Cause we all set goals. It's become the goal. That's what step four is all about. So becoming the goal for me is when I, when I walk into my office, because I say that, you know, I, I think in my, my, my self affirmation, cause I already read some of it to you all. When it says, I, you know, I won't waste time in projects and activities and things that are not in line with the paradigm shift that God has taken me. I walk in with that mindset. You know how many little things come at me that are not in line with the shift that I'm heading into? And I just say that it, 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 it can't do that. It's got to wait. Or even when I go home or, or, or how I structure my day. Or just how I think about what I'm going to do or how I deal with fires or deal with elephants in the room. If there's something bothering me, I'm, oh, that's right. I deal with elephants in the room. I don't ignore elephants in the room anymore. Even if it makes someone uncomfortable, I have to address whatever it is that's before me so that I won't be chained to it. Oh, that's right. I said that I'm going to be legally responsible, financially responsible. I'm going to make sure da, 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 da. You know what? I need to make sure I'm wise in my investments here. Let me get with da, 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 da. Let me make sure this is lined up right. Every single move that I make and everything that I do, I'm, I'm matching it against the self-affirmation and my finalies. Keeping me in line. It's almost like just picture something around me, just kind of rocking on both sides. And it's keeping me on that line. You know, when I went out for lunch, guess what I did? I'm pressing play because I want to hear it again. When I go home, when I'm done recording this, to be quite honest with you, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to press play. For the short version or the extended, I, I, I literally play them both. Does that make sense? That's how I keep myself aligned with becoming the goal. That's how you get it before you get it. That's how you get it before you get it captured in the spirit go pick it up in the physical so now I know it's mine I know who I am God has shown me it's possible okay I'm making a commitment to it okay and now I just got to go get it by changing my routines and my habitual behavior and the way that I look at circumstances and situations so instead of me looking at, uh, don't know if I have enough money in my account to do this, don't really have the support to do this because I don't have many people in my corner. Uh, last time I tried it, that didn't work out. No, 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 no. I got to capture those thoughts, make it obedient to Christ because Christ has told me that against all odds, all things are possible. You get it? So I'm pressing play. If you guys were around me, you'd be like, what is wrong with this woman? Because every blue, when I get time, I don't care what I'm doing. If I'm just running really quickly for lunch, I'm pressing play. I want to constantly be reminded of two things. One, God's word. And I get it. Not everybody's into their Bible. So I'm always listening to a sermon or something. That's just me. And in prayer before God. But two, I want to constantly stay in this paradigm shift that God has me in. There has to be a shift up here and in here in order for it to be in the physical, you guys. I can rile you up and motivate you to go do something. But if you, you know, in your mind and in your heart, you don't know who the heck you are. You don't really believe it's possible. Not to mention, you know, you, 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 you haven't really committed to anything. How on earth are you going to stay focused on the new you and the behavior you should have on a daily basis to become that person? It'll become just another New Year's resolution. And you guys know that I'm right. I've been there a lot, so I'm not preaching to you. I'm just... I am, I'm, I'm speaking from my own past and who I am as a person. Very rarely do, do things change if you don't change the way you see yourself. That's the only point I'm trying to make. See yourself through the eyes of God. Now, if you don't believe in God, I don't kind of don't know what to tell you other than see yourself in a positive light, I guess. Right. Something like that. <laughs> but for me, and I, and I'm not making fun of you. I'm just making a point that all I know is God, but See yourself through the eyes of God. 
Capture in the spirit, whatever it is you want to do. God, is it possible for me? Make some kind of commitment. You may say, well, see, I don't write that well. Okay, well, just speak into your phone. Some of you may even want to do a video. I think that's kind of weird because I don't want to see my cell phone camera. But if that works for you and you want to do a video, video record yourself. Do whatever works for you. It doesn't matter. For me, audio works well. And then every day, repeat it. Listen to it. Morning, noon, night. Every day. Morning, noon, night. Every day. Morning, noon, night. You listen to it and you let that sink into your spirit. And ask God to... Uh, help shape your actions and your behaviors and the way you respond to things, the way you schedule your days, the way that you dream, the way that you build based on that. The only last thing I want to say to this is, and I guess I should have said this earlier, I pray that whatever vision, whatever dream, whatever it is that you've now committed to doing, I pray that it has an act of service. I really do. I believe the key to God really blowing and blessing many things. Let me just speak for myself. You know, because I, I, I don't like when people speak for God and say, you know, uh, anyway, that's another subject. But let me just keep it to me. For me, an act of service has to be linked into what I'm doing. There has to be some way that I'm helping others. In my case, I'm very committed to helping kids who are victims of human trafficking and kids with chronic medical conditions. You know, so for me, and I read some of my affirmation, I didn't read a lot. I have nuggets in there about helping the community, helping people who have depression and who are going through anxiety. And I'm not a professional counselor, by the way, but I just mean that I pray to God they get inspired by my messages. I pray that suicides are prevented because someone has heard my message and they were given hope to, 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 to live another day, to give God another try. That's just who I am is how God made me, right? So I really believe that there should be some act of service in what you're doing. It shouldn't be all just about you. And you don't have to do the things I'm doing, but I'm just making a point. I think that that's a key element in this. But anyway, let me end this class. I don't want to keep it going for too long. Uh, this class is called, what did I title it? Get it before you get it. This, co- this class is called Get It Before You Get It. Get it before you get it. Get it in the spirit before you get it in the physical. Because if you get it in the spirit, The earth has to yield and give it to you against all hope. The earth has to yield and give it to you. And that's why it was important to start off with, do you know who the heck you are? You better know that power that's inside of you, right? So just to recap, who are you? Uh, That's one of the things we talked about. What is it that you really want to do? Um, The second thing is capture it, you know, make your proclamation, you know, sit before God, just say, hey, is it mine? You know, get it in your hands. I like to get a vision, get it in my hands first. The third thing is write out your finally statement and write out your self affirmation. Put yourself on the other side of the mountain and write what it feels like to be on that side. And what do you see when you write that statement? And, and when you write that self-affirmation, that extended version of, oh, my goodness, who, here, this is the person I've become. Write it out. I'm no longer fearful. I'm no longer filled with anxiety. I'm no longer in financial debt. I'm no longer da da da. Write it out. Don't be afraid to write it out. And then that fourth stage is repetition. You've got to change that mindset and change the way you see yourself. And you've got to constantly remind yourself, this is who I am. So every decision you make and how you respond to things, how you structure your day, Goals you set, whatever that you want to do, all of that is based around that new paradigm that you're now in. So every single day, everything that you do is shaping and in motion with the direction that you're heading. So anyway, I pray that this class has helped you all. Um, It was kind of fun doing this because all I really had to do was think through what I'm working on in my life and how I can help someone else. So this is my first, um, I guess I should say my first class um, that I'm I'm putting up um, Uh, right now and it's called get it before you get it i hope you all have enjoyed it love you all this is zenja glass bye bye hello everyone thanks for listening this is z with unlocking greatness podcast please don't forget to hit the like subscribe and the notification button love you all bye bye